What if every door in Morrowind you walked through transported you to a completely random location? Well, I'd imagine it would look something like this. And now we're gonna leave until- let's see, let's see what- Oh my god! Man, naked- or not even naked man, just orc man. Oh my god, what is going on? I, I didn't mean to open that, why is that even an option on Steam? What is going on? I'm- I was stunned While browsing the Nexus page for Morrowind, I found this mod and thought it would make a very fun challenge video. The rules for this run are quite simple. I can only buy and use items that I find in these random locations, meaning no limeware platter for me. And also, Fargoth doesn't get his ring, I'm sorry. But on top of that, I can't go through the same door twice unless there is no other option. Okay, I think that's about it. The video can start now. Salutations, fellow gamers. It is me, Joseph, and welcome back to Morrowind. And we are doing the door randomizer challenge and uh as per the rules i haven't kept anything that i looted uh the only thing that i'm keeping is the clothes because i don't want to be naked and afraid the class i'm running with here is a breton spell sword but instead of a spell sword i want to use blunt weapons like hammers and maces because that sounds cool shut up fargoth i will find a hammer and bash your skull in but mostly i wanted to do the breton because i've been playing a breton on stream and they are very good at least early game so we're gonna start this off by apparently becoming into some random person's house i want to steal the things that you own can i successfully kill you do you think okay well so my thought process here is if i die on the first room nothing really bad happens and if i live after trying to kill you then I get all your stuff for free. So that's what we're gonna do. And yes, I am aware that Dark Elves are not weak to fire, but it should be enough to kill him, I think. Yeah, we're doing enough damage. And he has no weapons. He's gonna start slapping me up though. Stop draining my stamina. That's not nice of you. This is not a good matchup for me. <laughs> this is like the poorest first matchup that I could have. Oh God. No, please don't die already. Not to a man without a sword. Oh my god. Dude, come on. Just, oh, what the? Come on! Please, for the love of god, stop casting the fail. Okay. Oh my god. I did it. I did it. I did it. I actually thought I was going to get smacked up and killed by a man with no weapon. Do you have anything interesting on your body? You have a ring. I'll take. Really, the only reason I killed you is because I saw you had alcohol over here and I wanted that. Ooh, restore agility. Okay. That wasn't the worst thing ever. Uh, there's this communist amulet. I mean, I guess now I suppose I have better clothing. I look a little more fashionable, but it's not going to help me in the long run, I don't think. And there doesn't seem to be anything in these urns. So, uh, I'm just going to sleep in this bed until I'm healed. All right, next area. Where are we going to get? Oh, we're in Mornal. That's interesting hi there wow can you believe this place it's just amazing everything's so beautiful the buildings the shops the women i'm blown away okay well i would love to inquire more about this woman that you think is beautiful but i have a job and that's to survive in random locations i don't think there's anything in this section of mournhold that we can actually use so i'm just gonna go try and find the next loading zone what is that whistling noise what the hell is that the, what is the, the whispering willows Ooh, you look to be interesting can i kill you Oh, you're a dark elf with armor. That's scary. I'm out of here. What are the chances that the first encounter I have, I get smacked up? Like, what if I get teleported to Red Mountain and immediately get smacked up? I feel like the chances of that are kind of high. You know what? I'm just going to sit here and wait 24 hours so I can get my dragon skin back. Why did the stuff get so much louder already? Just a Breton man walking to his next destination. Possibly doom. Possibly fortune. We may never know until we arrive. All right, next place. We are in, uh, Narmok. This place would be interesting if there was actually stuff that I could take and loot and have. But I don't think there is anything that I can take and have and loot, so... Uh, I guess we're just gonna go find the next area. Uh, you know, I didn't even travel that far away from Narmok. That's kind of funny. But, there's nobody in here, so I can rob your stuff. Okay, of course, it's a locked chest. But do you have anything interesting in your urns that I could rob from you? Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's a, it's a flower. I don't care about flowers. Flowers are for weirdos. There's a knife, but a non-usable knife. Man, I'm not, I'm not getting, like, anything from- Oh, gold! That is surely going to be useful. Okay, next location. We are in Vivek. Awesome! Just going to walk through this. Oh, okay. 
Okay, it looks as if though we're in an ancestral tomb. This could be this could be interesting. There could be good stuff in here. Unless this is locked. It is locked. I can't I can't open this. Okay, well, as per the rules, I'm allowed to walk through this door if uh, I can't progress farther. That is that is annoying. I'm not going to lie. Man, this, we're off to a really rough start in this challenge. And now we're in Balmora. Ooh, I bet there's probably some stuff we can do while we're here, right? If I can get lucky with the loot spawns in the crates and baskets around Balmora, we can actually find some pretty good stuff. So that's what we're going to do while we're here in Balmora, is start stealing the stuff in people's houses. There seems to be nothing in those baskets, though, so I, I wasted my time doing that. The real draw of attention here is these crates, because they usually have some pretty alright stuff. At least one of them should have, like, an enchanted item of some sort. The loot is always random for each playthrough, so there's no guarantee that I'm actually going to find anything, but I have been known to find some pretty good stuff stashed away in here. Like, uh, this quality restore speed potion. That's pretty nice. It'll fetch a good price. Just going to jump around Balmora so we can get some levels up while we're walking around. Man, I'm getting really unlucky with these crate spawns. Some of them are just straight up empty. I've never actually seen that happen. This Morwen randomizer knows exactly what I'm trying to do. Jesus, there was literally only Quarma eggs there. I have never seen these never not have like some type of enchanted item. Like I, I would be okay with just like an amulet that would fetch a nice price at some vendor. You know, something slight. It doesn't have to be anything insane like a Daedric Katana. Oh boys, this uh, run isn't shaping up to be anything special. I don't think. I feel like I'm gonna get clapped the second I run into any adversary. At least I'm finding a little bit of gold in these crates. Like, I, I don't know. I guess it's better than nothing, right? Soul gems will be useful as well if I ever end up picking up any enchanted items. And they fetch, I don't know, like a decent price? No, 10 value. Okay. I won't even get 10 gold from this. Unless Creeper buys soul gems. If he buys soul gems, I might find something a value out of these soul gems. Although I'm getting pretty lucky with these potion spawns. I've got a few decent ones. 80, 80, 80. Yeah, all these potions worth 80 gold. That's nice. That's nice. All right. These are the real crates. This is the last chance. Let's see. We got a restore personality. That's nice. Gold. I'll always take that. Here we got an amulet. Blood despair amulet. Absorb willpower. Five to 10 points for five seconds on target. That's pretty good. I don't know if I'll get any use out of it, but but it is good. Ooh, a halberd. That's our first weapon of the run. I, I, I'm not specced for it at all, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. What is it? It's a, it's a spear two-handed. I'm going to be honest with you, boys. I'm specced not for spear. Yeah, I literally have a pitiful 10 in spear. I mean, that's better than five, though. It could have been five. I don't think I've ever used a halberd in Morwen. I've used spears on the occasion when I've played as an Argonian, jumping around and stabbing people from a distance, but never a halberd. Never a halberd, I should say. Okay, so I think I've searched about all of these crates. Nothing too insane. I think the best thing we got was the amulet and the potions. Because in all reality, I don't think the spear is going to do much work for us. Especially since I already have the fire bite spell. At some point, I hope that we get lucky enough to spawn into a room where there's somebody that actually sells spells and then I can buy something that's not fire bite because there's a lot of Dunmer and Morwen and... Dunmer are resistant to fire. Now, I think it's a glitch, but sometimes when you walk through doors with this mod enabled, it won't take you to a random location. I'm going to use that as a feature, and if this spawns me inside of Revere, I'm just going to use Revere. Okay, it does not spawn me in Revere's place, but I think we're actually in the Mage's Guild. Okay, yeah, so while we're here, I can try and buy some spells. Bells. I can also sell some of the stuff that I don't want to make a little bit more gold. Okay, so you don't buy potions, but what do you sell? Ooh, that's a nice shield, but it's light armor. Okay, I'm not really into light armor. What kind of scrolls do you have? I guess I don't really want scrolls. I need to find someone that sells spells. You sell spells. Faction members only. Join Mage's Guild. Yes, I would like to join the Mage's Guild. Now let me buy spells. What's your rank? I'm going insane. No, sorry. Later, perhaps, when you're a higher rank, but not now. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Can I take the stuff out of this chest? I can, and I will. I'm just going to take all that stuff 
I think there was two books here. One of them might be a skill book. Okay, it was not a skill book. It's just worth 200 gold for some reason. That's a really expensive book to not be a skill book. That this is this is turning out to be an awesome run, but at least we're we're starting to get somewhere now. We're starting to get some items. Ooh, here's another amulet. I'll take that. I can go back up there and just sell it to her. Or actually, I should probably be careful about selling stolen items within the same vicinity that I stole them from because that that can cause some troubles in Morland. No, you don't sell spells. Do you sell spells? You do not sell spells. Why does nobody here sell spells? That's so odd. Oh, okay, so this woman buys potions, so that that's nice. I can sell her some of the stuff that I don't need, like this fire resistance and this fortify willpower. Actually, I'm gonna keep that. Cheap restore agility, I'll sell you that. I'll sell you these personality potions as well. And while we're here, I can buy some restore health if you have any. Restore fatigue, that's actually nice. I'll take those. Oh my god, two of those was almost all the transaction jesus christ you're a greedy bitch i'm out of here fuck you oh actually I, I need to see if you sell spells you don't sell spells awesome so you're greedy and you're useless to me sir loween do you sell spells you do Ooh, odysseus unhinging that could be useful so i'm gonna buy it that's probably a regretful purchase but it is one that I feel like is integral to this run because what? Yeah, it can open locks up to level 50. That's pretty nice, I will say. Okay, I need a loading door. Actually, I think the only loading door is the one we came through, so I'm gonna go back through that door. I mean, I guess I could cheese and use teleportation, but I, I don't really want to do that. That feels like cheating. Where am I? I'm in Arrow Cabin. Okay, that's new. Ooh, that's a lot of alcohol. I'll take all of that. Honestly, I'll take all the alcohol I can get. That's a pretty invaluable asset to survival and cheesing. Rolled paper. Nothing written on this rolled paper. Odd. Large chest. Some gold and an axe. Lock level two. Don't worry. We have Odysseus unhinging. I failed casting the spell. Eventually, I have to get it, right? Okay, I didn't get it. Can I sleep in this bed? Yes, I can. I will do this until this Chest is unlocked. There we go. It was literally only five gold. Was it worth it? Yes. Every bit of gold is worth it. There's really nothing in here. So I, yeah, I guess we're on our way now. Ooh, this is new. We're in a, oh, this is a Daedric ruin. That's new, but it's not nice. I don't want to be here. Trekking through this place. I'll have dragon skin equipped just in case anything goes awry. If anything wants to touch me, I'll dragon skin for 60 points of armor i am quite literally stuck on the geometry that's not there's literally nothing in the way morrowind what are you talking about you're you're on some ketamine if you think that i was stuck on anything oh this is gonna be rough i'm gonna have to travel a while until i find something to actually open like a door that's gonna teleport me i think our first enemy of this run is gonna end up being a slaughter fish yeah, no, as soon as I got in the water, dude, two slaughterfish are immediately on me. Gladly, though, we have a pretty nasty spell to work with. And now it's time for my slow, cumbersome trek across this water. Of course, there's another slaughterfish. Where is it? Just show yourself. I'm gonna go gank these mud crabs real fast. And I think that's actually another Daedric Ruin right there, so if I can just pass the Dramora... I, I, I should be fine. All right, I'm about to turn these crabs into crab cakes. Come here, buddy. Let me sensually rub your shell. And you too. You thought you could get away, but you can't. Oh, I felt casting the spell my ass. All right, uh, right, I'm going to book it to a door that is attached to this ruin. It's probably not the safest plan, but it's the only plan that I have to get out of this dangerous looking region. Oh, God. There's a woman right there. Oh, she doesn't actually seem like she's evil. Oh, you seem like a nice woman. Okay, well, you don't look nice. You're just a whole ass scamp. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Ooh, no, don't do that! Failed casting the spell. Failed casting the spell. Failed casting the spell. God, why is there no doors? There's no doors around here. That was a bit odd, I will say. Uh, I thought that there would be a door attached to this ruin, because that's usually how that is. I'm gonna drop a hard save, just in case if I die, uh, nothing will happen. I won't lose any of my progress. Did I actually find the one Daedric Ruin that doesn't have, like, a, f like a door to go inside of it? I seriously can't locate it. This is, this is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Is it down here? Okay, yeah, it's down here. Go! Oh my god, go!
Wait. It just... It... It just took me... Like, inside the ruin. Okay, wait, where am I now? I'm in Telfer. Interesting. Is there anything that I can actually do here, though? Other than bully that Netch in the, the distance? I mean, I wouldn't bully the Netch. The Netch would probably bully me. Yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'm just going to go find the next loading zone. My acrobatics is leveling up like crazy. I'm going to level up and just have to put it all into strength, I think. Okay, well, I'm just gonna fall down the side of the mountain, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Morrowind. Man, I feel like I've been getting really unlucky with these spawns. Like, uh, for, I get put stranded on an island by a Daedric Ruin, and now I'm put in Telfer, which to, what looks like it doesn't have any loading areas near it. Oh, and now I'm after getting myself stuck. Okay, never mind. I'm not actually stuck. I'm gonna do something that maybe some of you aren't going to agree with, but... I don't really care. I'm just gonna load the save that I dropped earlier because, uh, fuck this, as the name implies. I would be much appreciative if I got dropped into a tomb of some sort that I could actually- that was reasonably leveled for me. Or, I don't know, maybe a vendor that I could buy stuff from. I'm literally naked and afraid right now, minus the naked. I'm clothed, but I'm naked in the sense that I have no armor rating. Oh my god, this scam. Get away from me! Get away from me! You- Jesus. If that scam touches me, I'm dead. I get out of here. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Oh, you're just, uh... I got a... I got a... I got a... I got a plan here. I got a plan, boys. I'm gonna drink this Sujama. Wait, this isn't Sujama. This is, a uh, Mott's. Okay, come on. Just hit him once. Just hit him once. I probably should have saved. Yeah, no. Uh, I... That was... That was not nice. That was not very nice at all. Um, what if, what if I, uh, didn't change my plan of action at all, and I just quite literally did the same exact thing that I just did? Oh no, it's not gonna work. Just once, dude. Just once. All I need is, is like, to hit him once. Okay, maybe I should try and use the spells that I specced my guy for- Oh my god, I, why did I even try to use the halberd? The fire is so much easier to use! Oh my god. Khajiit murder? It's not murder, it's a Khajiit. Okay, I'm just gonna take all these daggers and things now. So at least I'll be able to go into the next fight with health and magic. Alright. Time to see where it takes us next. Oh my god, are you serious? Here, of all the places, you could have taken me. You take me to the Red Mountain region. Th that's just- that's just not fun. There are so many things with blight here that it is unfunny. Also not to mention all these fuckers that have magic. Jesus Christ. Wow, this is awesome. Thank you, Morwen. Thank you for putting me here. And thank you for failing my cast! Okay, I just- I just gotta go. I just gotta move until I find a way out of the Red Mountain region. I do not plan on staying here very long. This place is annoying as all hell. What is the point of the halberd if I can't do damage from far away with it? I thought the point of the halberd was long reach. Okay, in Mormon's defense, I have zero spear skill, but I think I've slung this halberd at someone at least 20 times collectively. Oh my god, how is the rat catching up to me? Why is the rat so fast? Oh, you're shitting me. There's a cliff racer right there. What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is the most annoying shit in the world. Jesus Christ. Please, for the love of God. I just- I just need things. So I can do things. The only choice I have here is to drink this potion and then a quick with fire bite and fight this cliff racer. Oh my- Ooh! I'm actually gonna lose my motherfucking mind. This is insane. Like, why is this- Oh my god! You dumb ass fucker! Oh my god, please, for the love of god! Oh my- This is- This is just- Oh my- Oh my god, what- I- Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Okay, wait. Wait, I- I can actually maybe win this. All I need to do is drink some standard, restore health and stuff, and then, uh, maybe- I can- I can- Oh my god, I can actually win this. I can win this. I can win this. Oh my god, please, don't kill me. Oh my god. That's cracked. That's absolutely insane. We have armor and things to use. Oh yeah, we're rocking with four armor now. Don't even think about touching me, bro. I'm literally 
goaded with the sauce now. I'm going to sleep again, and hopefully I'm not rudely interrupted by another Dark Brotherhood member. We're still in Vivek. I'm not sure if where I was was in there, so I'm just gonna go find the next door, which is right here. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Dwimmer. Okay, well, he was pretty easy to kill. So if that's a sign of the times to come, then I should have a decent time here. Where did I even spawn from? Like, where, 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 where did I come? I just manifested. Oh, okay. Collapsed rocks. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Collapsed rocks. I'm going to slowly trudge through this Dwimmer ruin because uh, I don't want to use all my stamina before I get into my next encounter. Hopefully it's only those Dwimmer spiders that are in here, like nothing too insane. I find it odd that these spiders are weaker than the rats on Red Mountain. Like, this is pitiful. Like, he did no damage to me. Why is he so weak? And why were the rats so strong? Okay, what's this door down here? I would like to know. Sorry, there was a problem with OneDrive. So I don't fucking care. I'm playing Morrowind. I'm not even connected to the internet right now. So I don't even know in what world they're, they're trying to connect to the OneDrive servers. Okay, that's a, a locked door at 100. So even my unhinging spell would not work on that. You know, for being in a Dwimmer ruin, I'm not finding anything cool. Heavy Dwimmer door. What is in here? Is there stuff to loot? Hopefully so. Can I open these? I can. There seems to be nothing of actual use in them, though. A uh, armor hammer, a bit probe, an ash pile. I don't really need that. Wait, is that just a hand? That's a robot hand. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, I'm stuck on the geometry. Okay, here's another armorer hammer. Here's some repair tongs. I'll take those. Well, oh, here's a bunch of nice stuff. Oh, that's just a- oh. Oh, that's a robot. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. This book appears to be written in an unknown Dwimmer language. From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on fabrication of metals. That's kind of cool. Don't care, though. Okay, well, nothing too crazy in this room. But there is another spider out here, so I can start casting spells at him and start leveling up my destruction spell. We're very slowly approaching each other, and now I'm slowly backing away from him. I call it... The push and retreat. It's not a cowardly retreat, it's a tactical retreat. I'm 4 of 10, so I'm actually relatively close to getting to level 2. Although there's not very many levels that I could take that I'm too interested in, I would say. Because uh, all of my skill increases have been acrobatics. And uh, I seem to be playing a mage right now. A very incompetent mage, maybe, but a mage nonetheless. Next area? Where are we? We are back in Vivek, but this is the Telvani Tower. Uh, should I even be in here? Like, I, I don't feel like I should be in the Telvani Tower. That feels like a bad thing. Hello, fellow Telvanians. I, too, am a Telvani. While I'm in here, I can try and see if there's anybody that I can barter with, because I now have a few things that I could sell. Me, it was me. I'm sorry. Did I intrude on your uh your gay your gay sex here? Oh, what are you, Captain Butt Sex? Man, you guys are lame. You don't sell anything. I'm out of here. I forgot I that I had. I was talking. Don't ever interrupt me again. I forgot that I enabled over the camera shoulder in Morwind. Uh, it's a pretty cool at camera angle, I should say. I almost forgot to do this. Comment of the day comes from this guy named Zachary. He compares Morwen to Florida, which, you know what? In the Bitter Coast region, I am very inclined to agree. So, uh, there. Comment of the day. Fight in the comment section over who is the funniest now. Oh my god! Ah! Okay, so that was the cheating. I cheated. I'm sorry. Uh, but he- he- like, did, did you look at him? He was scary. Now, this is a place that I'm very intrigued with because you have a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that I could potentially kill you and still for. What is the likelihood that I could kill you? Probably not very high, right? Do you have any hammers, perhaps? Only of the repairing variety. Oh, well, you have this spiked club. I'll take that. That is a blunt weapon. It will be slightly more proficient than what I have. What I have is not very good. Oh, I guess I could also sell you my Dark Brotherhood items 
and I could buy some heavy armor off of you. That that that's probably a good idea, right? Yeah. I'll take your steel cuirass, your steel greaves, one of your left gauntlets, one of your pauldrons, one of your right gauntlets, and it doesn't seem as though you have anything else that I'm interested in in buying from you. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait a second. I gave him the full Dark Brotherhood set. Bar ban for ban, the Dark Brotherhood set is more than double the amount of what are you on? Are you taking ketamine? Aw, oh, hell nah. Aw, oh, hell nah. You done pissed me off. I'm taking five Sujama and smacking your skull in, bro. You did this to yourself. You did this. Why is my strength? So, okay, you know what? Oh, I'd only drank one Sujama? Okay, I'm gonna drink multiple more Sujama. I have eight Sujama, so hopefully this will be enough to actually do a dent in this guy's health. Because he seems like he might be a little stronger than me. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Morrowind, work with me here! Oh my god, Hill! Oh my god, I'm too stupid. Oh, he hit me from across the room. Okay, I have another plan, and that's to drink even more alcohol. All right, I have 710 strength again. Go to drop a save down, and I'm going to kill this man. Brought to you by alcoholism. This guy is getting really, like, supremely lucky. He literally almost killed me in one hit. And I missed over seven club swings. What is this game? He is not proficient in hammer. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Okay, now I'm going to take your hammer. Executive decision here. I'm dropping all this Dark Brotherhood armor. It's worth a lot, but I'm going to be weighed down very heavily. And I would rather just have armor. Well, I would rather have usable armor. Steel greaves, steel left gauntlet, steel right gauntlet, steel cuirass. All right, so I have mostly steel armor. I'm missing uh, boots and a pauldron and a helmet. But we're, 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 we're living life now. We're living lavish, I should say. I feel like my intelligence is forever damaged now. Why is my intelligence forever damaged now? What the hell happened? Did I, like, give myself brain damage while drinking the alcohol? Good thing I have a restore intelligence potion. It was so weird because it was only negated by one. Now we got some, some stuff going on good for us. Okay, now we have bad things going for us because we're back in Vivek. I don't want to be in Vivek. This is the time that you can put me in a place where, I don't know, there's people I can fight because now I can actually fight people. I have a hammer. I have armor. I have some decent armor to be exact. All right, next place. Where is it going to be? It's going to be underwater. Where am I? Old Mournhold. You know, when I said that you could put me in a place where there are enemies, I was not necessarily thinking of Mournhold. I don't, I don't know if I can kill the goblins that live down here in the old Mournhold sewers oh my god i this was not supposed to happen this was not supposed to happen dragon skin activate hammer hammer wow i really suck with this hammer like incredibly i suck thank you oh my god smack him smack him up oh jesus okay i'm gonna take your boots because i actually need those i'm gonna take your left pauldron no it's your right pauldron that i need right we're gonna wait 24 hours so i can get dragon skin back oh no Oh, it's just straight up a goblin. Oh, this is- this is not good. This is not good. This is the opposite of good. There's just a go- it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. I have no choice but to die here. Yep, I'm immediately after getting knocked down. I, there was nothing that I could do about that. There was genuinely nothing that I could do about that. I couldn't even cast my first spell. Is the goblin sh faster than me? I would assume that the goblin probably is faster than me, even though he walks around with a hunchback. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin! Goblin! Stop it, you goblin! What am I supposed to do? Like, actually, what am I supposed to do? I'm, like, actually stuck. Because there's- I'm stuck in between a goblin and a hard place. If my memory serves me correct, there might be a exit down here that I can take. Hopefully. Maybe. Be. Please. There at least looks to be an outing. Ooh, yes. Oh my god! Goblin! Goblin! What are you talking about, Goblin? Why... Why did it put me in Mournhold? Why? Out of all the places. 
I'm literally going insane right now. Okay, can I sneak past Goblin? Oh my god, I can't sneak past Goblin. I can't sneak past Goblin. I just gotta go. I just gotta go. Oh my god, I'm so slow. I'm so slow in the water. And he's so fast. He's not even swimming. He wasn't even swimming. He was just walking in the water. Fuck it. I'm breaking the rules again. I'm going back from where I came. I can't get past the goblin. This counts as not being able to progress. He is genuinely just faster than me, and he can two-shot me. And as soon as I engage him, he knocks me down. So that's another thing to add on top of it. It's literally the icing on the cake. Or the goblin on the fuckery, if you will. Okay, well, you don't have any armor. You are also seem to be stuck in a loop that you cannot escape. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is what I was asking for. Just easy pickings. Okay, easy in the, in the regards that I do more damage than you do damage to me. Oh, and I can heal. Was there really only one enemy in here? There seems to be some... More enemies. Although you look to be... Oh, but there's two enemies. Oh, no. Oh, and you have spells. I don't like when people have spells. Okay, look. Just leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Engage me. But use all your magic trying to do so. Oh, my God. I didn't mean hit me. I'm... I... Oh, you... You are annoying. I don't think I can take out two of you. I don't think I can take out two of you. Maybe one of you. Maybe one of you, but not two of you. Okay, can I, can I, can I get my hammer out? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, they're dead. They're dead, I killed them. They no longer are with us. They are in the shadow realm. Okay, there's somebody after me. I don't really particularly care if they're after me right now. Uh, I'm robbing you blind of everything that you own. Uh, gold, alcohol, scrolls, everything. Basic- Oh, I heard a lightning bolt. That's not good. Oh my god, you... Seem to be like a, a danger. Oh my- yeah, no, no, you're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. Yep, of course you are. Why wouldn't you kill me? I'm losing my mind, bro. I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna go insane. I miss the rage. This wouldn't be that bad if robbing people and chests and Morrowind didn't take so much time. If it was like, oh, I could just click the things that I want to take. No, I have to click them and then drag them. That's that's what's annoying about this. That's the annoying part about this. Oh no, I'm over encumbered. I don't even know how she's seen me. Would like I was, I was not really doing anything. Okay, well I need to go because she's actually gonna snipe me with an electric bolt if I don't get out of here. I gotta get into an open area. Okay. I'm in an open area. I should be fine. Should be fine. Should be able to just bob and weave her. Okay, come on. Start using your magic. What are you doing? Stop doing that. Use the magic. Oh god. She's using the magic. I didn't actually mean to- Oh my god, she hit me. Go- Heal! Oh my god, are you kidding me? You gotta be yanking my ball sack right now, bro. Are you serious? Oh my god. Uh -huh. I'm just going to approach her and bash her fucking skull in with this hammer. I'm actually tired of this. Come out, you stupid ass whore, and fight me. For the love of god, I will end your life. I will kill you. I will kill your whole family. Cast the spell. You dumb dunmer. Yeah, yeah. Keep on hitting the wall. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. How's it feel? How's it feel to get absolutely smacked the fuck up, you dunmer? Okay, look. This is a bit embarrassing. Okay, you're finally dead. Jesus. I will be taking your robe. I'm taking your scrolls, too. What's the point of locking a chest when you're up here to protect it? Do you not trust yourself? Like, that's, that's really goofy. That's really silly. And not in a whimsical way, in just like a stupid way. Like, only an imbecile would lock their level 5 chest and guard it. Okay, now I'm going to jump down here and continue robbing. The loot this time was just objectively worse, and that's, that's so upsetting. I mean, I guess I killed her this time, but... It was annoyingly hard. I guess I'm on my way out of here. Oh, wow, I, I, I casted the spell that time, but I couldn't cast it when it mattered. All right, I seem to have expended all of the natural resources within this cavern. 
And also, I apparently am getting stuck on the geometry. I am out of here. Although, I'm not going to lie. My guy's looking pretty cool now. He's looking pretty swag. He's got some drip. He's got that Ric Flair drip on right now. If you've made it this far into the video, comment down below. Double quarter pounder with cheese. Where am I? I have no idea. I'm somewhere in the coal cave. Okay. I don't know where that is. We're just gonna, we're just gonna adventure until I find another door. Okay, well, I see a, an old Dwimmer ruin up here. Actually, that's not a Dwimmer ruin. I think that's a sixth house base. Uh, there should be a door over here, but there also probably are enemies. So it might not be the smartest idea to go try and find a door over here, but I'm going to go find a door over there. That's what I'm going to do. I have no regard for my own safety at this point. I'm just over it. I'm done with it. Look at my guy. He looks like a paladin. He actually looks really cool. Look at him. He's just walking. He's just a guy that's walking around with a hammer. A very ineffective hammer, man, but a hammer nonetheless. If I could just get teleported to somebody that will buy all of these scrolls, I would be in business. I would be I would be living lavish, may I say. But no, no, I'm going to get taken to, I don't know. It's going to be Red Mountain, I bet. No, wait, actually, what is this? This is Vivek, Curio Manor. Hello, Curio. I don't think you're going to sell me anything or buy anything from me, to, for that matter. Okay, yeah, there's just a bunch of dudes in here, and they all look like they might be able to kill me. So, never mind. I changed my original plan of action of murder. Oh my god, orc! Um. Oh. Wait. I can prevail. I can prevail. I cannot prevail. I cannot prevail. I was so close. That was so... That was... that. Okay, that's what I like to call a Morrowind moment. Literally, what just happened to me was a certified Morrowind moment. Literally, just one more hit would have done it. And he would have... But no. Can I? Oh my, you, you naked person. You naked, naked person, you. Okay, I just want to point out that he is also using a club and he has hit me more times than I've hit him. How is this fair? I'm literally, he is a Dunmer. I am somebody that would actually use a hammer. I'm half elf, half Nord. Nords are known to use hammers, not dark elves. Jeebus Christ, like it's not even like... My blunt is that low. It's like 36. I should be hitting more than one hammer every 20 strike. Uh, can I attack you from up here? Or you're gonna walk around? Okay. Do you have anything cool? No, you don't. Okay, I'm just- I'm- I'm- I'm leaving now. Where am I? I'm in Margon. Oh, um... I wasn't gonna steal any of that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna find my way out. Actually, I think there's a trader. One of these guys sells stuff and the other one doesn't. You train, what are you training? Long blade, short blade? Well, I only have 423 gold and I'm not wasting it on one training. Is it this guy that sells? I know like one of you sell things and the other one doesn't and it doesn't make any sense at all. You do not buy scrolls. That is so weird. Why don't you buy scrolls? I mean, I understand that you're a blacksmith and all, but you should buy my scrolls. I'm going to sell you my repair tongs and stuff so I can free up some space in my inventory. And I also need a right pauldron. Do you happen to have one of those? No, you have a left pauldron. You do have a right pauldron. I need one of them, not two of them. Okay, now we're getting somewhere because I'm fully clad in steel armor minus the helmet. Actually, do you have a helmet? You do have a helmet. I will take that as well. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'm fully clad in steel armor. 13 armor as well. That's pretty good, I will say. We gotta go through the door we came through. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I just ended up using hammers and stuff. That's just how this ended up playing out. Like, I was hoping that I was going to end up running into somebody that would sell me destruction spells, but that was wishful thinking. I probably should have just specced for, I don't know, anything else than a hammer on a Breton so that I would actually be able to hit things. Like, I could have been an orc. But no, I had to be special. Will you buy my scrolls? No, you don't buy my scrolls. Is there anybody out here that will buy my scrolls? No? Okay, I'm just gonna go through your house then. I can't go through your house. Where am I? Where is this? I am... I'm in Ra I'm in Solstheim. I'm in Ravenrock. You know, I'm actually... I've never been to Solstheim outside of using this door randomizer challenger yesterday. I would actually really like to see what Solstheim looks like. So I'm going to walk through that door 
And hopefully, um, oh, can you not climb up this ladder? Okay, well, I'm going to walk through this door and hopefully it actually takes me to Raven Rock. It did not take me to Raven Rock. It took me to Moose Elft. I was playing on this place uh, in my Morrowind live stream. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use Almisiv's intervention because this is annoyingly far away from anything. And we're just going to walk through this door. Okay, well, now we're just in an Argonian's house. I'm just... Actually, wait a second. I need to heal up. I'm going to heal up a little bit. And then I'm going to fight this Argonian to death because I would like to try and level up my blunt weapon. Kill it. That's how I feel about you. Just kill it. But you're just, I don't know. Everything that I try and fight with this hammer just, it seems to go horribly wrong. Okay, there. And now we're going to leave until, let's see, let's see what, oh my God, man, naked or not even naked man, just orc man. Oh my God. What is going on? I, I didn't mean to open that. Why is that even an option on Steam? What is going on? I'm, I was stunlocked. I was stunlocked. There was nothing I could do. I was so ganked right there. Okay, well, uh, let's try that again and see what happens. I am in Pelagiad, which is near Vivek. Well, uh, I can't go anywhere but here. So, I guess that's where we're going. I've already been in here. Take me to a new place. I've like, I've literally actually already been in here. Take, like, actually, seriously, take me to a new place. Stop giving me new, like, stop giving me places I've already had. I have not already had this place. Oh, wow, a cliff racer. They just, they just have to make appearances, don't they? They just have to be the center of attention every single video that I ever make. You just, you're just a dumbass bird. That's literally all you are. Oh my god, I actually killed that. I can't believe I killed that cliff racer with so much ease. That's actually genuinely insane. Okay, I'm going to get out of here before my luck runs out. I think it was this Caldera. It is Caldera. I'm just going to go, and I'm going to find a door. And we're going to be happy with that. Actually, I'm going to see if this pawnbroker of over here will just let me in instead of putting me in a random location. Will he? No, no, he he will not let me. Just okay. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, kill this guy because I wanna I wanna level up my hammer. Uh, there's so many innocents dying in my wake, but it's it's all for a good cause. I need to upgrade my hammer skill. I mean, because this is laughable. This is like imagine if this was an actual enemy that could do damage, like I would be dead. Like this is actually laughable, Jesus. He doesn't have anything really that cool. So we're just gonna go through Sand with Mora. And I'm back in Vivek, Jesus Christ. I've literally already been in this specific spot at least two other times. Take me to a new location, God damn it. This is the, the storage area for that one woman in the Fighters Guild quest line. Okay, I said take me to a new place, and you delivered. You did deliver, I will say that. And now we're in Ald Velothi. Not for very much longer, I don't wanna be here. Oh my god, that was not a very smart decision on my end, I will say. I can rest until here to here. This is not an illegal spot to rest. My, I was interrupted by a Quarma. On top of someone's house, I was interrupted by a Quarma. That's awesome. That's genuinely the coolest thing ever. I'm I'm just going. I'm leaving. I'm underwater now. I can't move. I'm I literally I I can't move. This is I can't I can't I am genuinely stuck. I can't even um this is this is great. This is what I call good game design. Yeah, I <laughs> that, that 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 wasn't even my fault. We'll try that again. And it is another ancestral tomb wooden door i can just open that one okay well i should be able to just use fire bite on these suckers right all right we're gonna try and clear out this tomb and if we're successful that will be reason to believe that this challenge was successful okay first enemy ghost okay failed casting spell just gotta kill the ghost the ghost is now dead Okay, uh, I feel like I probably shouldn't have failed casting the spell that many times, but uh, I suppose things happen. Now we just gotta travel further in. What's behind this door? Is there anything behind this door? There is not. Is there anything in that urn? There is not. I have a feeling that this tomb is gonna be really easy to clear out. It's not gonna be a very hard test of metal. Ooh, what if I ran into a bone walker? That wouldn't be very fun, would it? 
Oh, well, okay, that's not fun. Being paralyzed? I don't even know what the point of paralysis here would be. Like, I, I can't... I can't open the door. Like, the enemies can't open the door, so it's not like they're going to be able to get to jump on me. And I don't even think this guy wants to fight me. He literally just ran away. You know, you think there would be some good loot in an ancestral tomb, but there really isn't. There really isn't. I can take a blessing, though. I would like to take a blessing. Uh, give me... Velothes and Dwelling. I don't even know what that does. Velothes and Dwelling. Fortify magic 10 points. Actually, kind of crack. You know, I am oddly worried about the, the strength of the skeleton. Okay, look. Look, buddy. I don't, I don't want to fight you. And you don't want to fight me. Just kidding. I wanted to fight you. And I wanted to win. I'm going to take this iron mace. Screw this hammer. I'm taking the iron mace. It weighs less. Uh, it's nowhere near as good. But I'm taking it. Can I heal? I can rest until healed. Does that mean that I cleared out the dungeon? Oh, I have a, a, I have a power up to take, or a level up to take, not a power up. Man, I leveled up a lot of stuff while doing this. This is a very effective playstyle, apparently, to level up your character. Huh. So it seems as though I actually successfully cleared out this tomb. Can I say that I am surprised? No, not really. I kind of. Su supposed that I would be able to do it. That's why I picked this as the ending point of the video. So if you like this video, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you would like to see a part two to this randomizer door video, uh, like the video, and if this video gets 50 likes, then I'll make a part two. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah. Bye. I would like to give a special thank you to Andy Miltink and all my other channel members for supporting the channel. If you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, then consider becoming a channel member. It starts all the way at 99 cents and goes all the way up to $24. You'll get special access to videos just like this one early and exclusive videos just for you as a channel member. And you'll also get your name at the end of these videos. Okay, yeah, video over.